at not even a year old and nearly 200 pounds, Indian the tiger hasn't come close to his adult size of more than 600 pounds. People should not own dangerous wild animals as pets. Senior director of the Cleveland Amory Black Beauty Ranch, Noelle Almred, says she was pleasantly surprised to hear from Houston's Barks Animals and Shelter Adoptions because she thought it was unlikely India would ever be seen again. We reached out to them again and said, you know, if you need our help, we're here, uh, just let us know. And so they reached out to us a couple days ago to say, it looks like someone will be surrendering the tiger and how soon can you get here? India was taken to the sanctuary without any problems. He has since been put in a small den to make sure he doesn't get stressed and can acclimate to his new environment. He'll remain there for at least 30 days before getting the chance to be around other tigers. He's also in a quarantine stage, which means we don't want him around other tigers because he could have diseases or viruses that could be transmitted to our other tigers. Almred says they see cases like this often because people believe taking care of a tiger is easy. It's not. Texas has very lenient laws right now. While most major cities ban the ownership, it's really regulated by the county, and the county often doesn't have the resources to enforce it. Almred says they've been pushing for the passing of the Big Cat Public Safety Act. It passed the House in early 2020, but has not yet come to a vote in the Senate. We've got you covered, East Texas. Matt Lackritz, CBS 19.